Before testing a patient on your Pascal tonometer, the patient's eyes must be under local anesthetic. Either clear anesthetic, such as proparacaine or tetracaine may be used, or fluoresce or fluorox, which contains fluorescein. All that is necessary is clear anesthetic. Before performing the test, it is best to ask the patient to hold their hands on the slit lamp table have the patient rest their chin in the chin rest and forehead forward against the slit lamp bar. Now the patient is ready to get their pressures measured, but first ask them to look straight across the room and direct their gaze at a distant object. Now you're ready to turn on the Pascal, align the instrument, and start to perform the test. The Pascal is turned on by simply turning the blue knob an eighth of a click and you'll hear a tone to correspond with the instrument being on and you will see that the instrument is ready to start. From this point forward the examiner has 20 seconds to begin to acquire data otherwise the Pascal will automatically shut itself off to save the battery. Once again turn the Pascal on by Clicking the blue knob, the view of the Pascal image, the, the sensor tip image is through the left ocular and approach the eye. When contact is made, you have heard approximately six waves, that is the six cycles of the cardiac cycle and the resultant test reads on the LCD screen. Once again we'll perform the test. Turn the instrument on with a click, advance toward the eye and listen for your auditory feedback. You heard six waves a pressure reading, a pulse amplitude reading, and a quality reading. Let's try that one more time. Look straight across the room, enter in a forthright fashion, approach, and acquire your reading. Two, three, four, five, six, and remove. Pressure is 14.1, amplitude 2, with a quality of 1, which is very, very desirable. Now the most common mistake that new users of the Pascal tonometer make is in not introducing the instrument far enough onto the patient's eye. That is, they're not making a commitment. I'm going to show you an example of this. When we do this, you'll notice that there'll not be a steady stream of data, but rather an interrupted sound. Starting to take the test. You can see that there is an uneven stream of data. Now I'd like you to keep looking forward. I'm going to advance to the next test by clicking the blue knob and we're going to do it the right way. and remove the instrument.